I'm Amy the Funny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short. Give me a kiss. And today we are going to give you 10 tips to help your picky eater bunny eat their hay. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here we give you tips and tricks for how to take care of your rabbit and have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So thank you for joining me. And if you're interested in more about rabbits and rabbit care and anything along those lines, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so that you don't miss anything. I've gotten a lot of questions actually about how to help a picky eater bunny get onto a healthy diet because Hay is very important for a rabbit's health, but it's not always the most appetizing food for a rabbit to eat. They would much prefer to have yummy, yummy sweet fruits all day, but that's obviously not healthy for a rabbit. Real quick, let me go over what a healthy rabbit diet is. For the most part, you want them to be eating hay. You want that to be 80% uh, of their diet and you want them to have an unlimited supply. Second, you want to make sure that they are eating their fresh leafy greens every day. So usually one to two cups of fresh greens depending on the size of your rabbits. So this can be anything from parsley, dandelion greens, leafy lettuces, not iceberg lettuce, uh, kale. Usually rabbits don't have any problem eating their greens because these tend to be very yummy for rabbits. The third part of their diet is going to be their pellets, their dry food. Now, you actually don't want to give them too many pellets because if you do, they'll end up eating the pellets instead of their hay that's so much more important for them to eat for their teeth and their digestion. So really just for every five pounds that your rabbit weighs, only about a quarter cup is perfectly fine. It's totally okay if they run out very quickly. That's how we get them to eat more hay. <laughs> and then, of course, you can give your rabbits a little bit of treats. You just want to keep it to a very small amount every day, about one to two tablespoons maximum. Before I get started, I do want to put in a little disclaimer here. I am not a veterinarian, and any drastic change in your rabbit's diet, you should go to a veterinarian and make sure that anything is not going to be a problem for your specific rabbit situation. Any drastic or sudden changes in your rabbit's diet can be a sign of health problems. So if your rabbit used to eat a lot of hay, but now all of a sudden they're not eating it at all, that can be a sign of developing tooth problems. If they're completely refusing to eat hay or food in general, that is a serious problem and it is a sign of any number of sicknesses. So these are definitely reasons that you wanna to go to the vet right away and are not necessarily just a picky rabbit. So when in doubt, go to your vet and make sure that there are no underlying health problems that are causing the picky eating behavior in your rabbit. Most of the time, a picky eater rabbit just doesn't want to eat their hay because it's a little bit more difficult to eat and not quite as appetizing as their other foods. You might be coming here having given your rabbit too many pellets in the past and not realizing that that's not the main food your rabbit should be eating. So now you're trying to get them to eat more hay, but they just don't want to. They don't want to because it doesn't taste good. So what you want to do is find different ways to try to encourage your rabbit to eat some of that hay so that they can be a healthy bunny. Now the first tip that I have for you is to mix in different types of hay. Sometimes rabbits don't particularly like Timothy hay because that's actually the roughest hay. That's why it's the best for them because it wears down their teeth more and gets their digestive system going like no other hay can, but it can help to get them to eat the Timothy hay by adding in some slightly softer hays that are also good for them. So try mixing in a little bit of orchard hay or oat hay, any kind of grass-based hay to help your rabbit like it more and be more willing to go over to the hay pile and just start munching a little bit. The only type of hay that you're going to want to try to avoid is alfalfa hay. Like a tiny bit of it's okay, but it's not healthy for your rabbits like other types of hays are. The exception to this rule is baby rabbits or young rabbits about six months and younger, uh, they can have alfalfa hay to have to grow up big and strong. <laughs> but as they get over six months, you should phase the alfalfa hay out and get them to eat more Timothy hay. The next thing you can do is take your rabbit's daily portion of pellets and instead of giving it to them in a bowl, sprinkle it into their hay trough. And that way your rabbit will have to forage for their pellets and then hopefully Along the way, they'll end up munching on some hay too. 
Along the same lines, you can put their yummy fresh greens that you usually have no problem eating. You can also put that into their hay trough so that they will have to sort through the hay to get to the yummy stuff. Which is the idea, is to force them to at least be around the hay and hopefully munch on some of it too. And it's possible that with the greens, some of the flavor will kind of wear off onto the hay, making it more likely that your rabbit will enjoy eating it. Another thing you can do is look into the brand of hay that you're getting your rabbit. Some brands tend to be fresher than others. Look at the hay that you're getting. Does it tend to be brown and dusty or is it fresh and vibrant? And if it's one of those old dusty kinds of hay, then maybe consider switching brands. The brand that you can get in pet stores that I tend to recommend is Oxbow, but there are also a lot of other ways to get even fresher hay than any hay that you can get in pet stores. There are some online stores that you can do. I definitely recommend Small Pet Select, which I recently started getting my rabbit's hay from. There are also local farms. You can see if they'll sell you bales of hay. Or depending on where you live, there are plenty of other online options or local options that you can try to get your rabbit as fresh hay as possible. Because the fresher the hay, the better it will taste and the more likely your rabbit will eat it. If your rabbit is being picky about eating their hay, another thing you can try is giving them different types of hay racks. Some rabbits will prefer to graze and eat their hay on the ground and other rabbits will prefer to pull their hay from racks that are a little bit higher up. So what you can do is give your rabbit options. Put some kind of hanging hay racks so that your rabbit can pull hay from them. And then you can also have some on the ground, have some kind of mid-level, just see what your rabbit likes and then continue using that one. That way your rabbit will be more likely to continue eating it because they're, they have it available in the way that they like to eat it. Another tip I have for you is to kind of rearrange their hay and fluff it up every once in a while, every couple hours in their hay trough or in this case their litter box. So what you do is just kind of fluff it up, mix it around a little bit. This way the fresh parts of their hay will become more available to them, the parts that maybe they didn't get to while they were foraging for it. So they'll be more likely to go back and eat some more. If it seems like your rabbit is looking at it and just doesn't want to go at it, just Fluff it up a little bit. <laughs> Fluff it up a little bit and see if that gets your rabbit to go and check it out again. Another thing to make sure you do is to give your rabbit fresh hay every day. So even if your rabbit did not quite finish their hay from yesterday or they have a, a bunch of it left, instead of just adding some to the top of it, take away the old hay that they didn't eat yesterday and just add the fresh hay. This way they get all new pieces and they'll start to expect to get the new fresh hay every day instead of having the old stale hay that was their leftovers there. This will a help you to know exactly how much they're eating because you don't have all of the old hay kind of being piled on top of so that it seems like your rabbit isn't eating very much when really it's just they have a lot of days leftovers there but also it's it's fresh hay every day so that keeps your rabbit interested and will hopefully make it more likely to continue eating a lot more hay. To encourage your rabbit to eat more hay, you also want to make sure you do not overfeed them on pellets or greens. Since these are going to be much more appetizing to rabbits, they're going to end up eating them much more than the hay if they have them available. So you want to make sure you limit your pellets and your greens to just the healthy amount for your rabbit every day. So for pellets, it'll be about a quarter cup for every five pounds of rabbit about, and then one to two cups of fresh greens for your rabbit. If you already are feeding your rabbit way too many greens or way too many pellets, then you don't want to reduce it all at once because that can be a kind of a shock to a rabbit's digestive system. So what you want to do is kind of slowly over the course of a couple of weeks, reduce the amount that you're giving them until it's a healthy amount. I do have a video on how to help a rabbit lose weight that goes through the transition of how to bring your rabbit from an unhealthy food to a healthy food. And that's the same idea that I'm going over here. Even if your rabbit's not overweight right now, it might be a good idea to just go check out that video just to get the ideas of how to make sure your rabbit is on a healthy diet. <laughs> Another trick to try to help your rabbit eat more hay and encourage them to be healthy is to actually put your rabbit's hay 
in or near their litter box. Rabbits like to poop and eat at the same time, so if you put the hay near where they poop, they'll be more likely to kind of munch on it while they're going. This is also something that can end up helping with litter box habits because if you put the hay where you want them to go, then they'll end up just kind of munching and going, and they'll usually improve their litter box habits if they have something to eat while they're going. <laughs> You can also use hay to put inside of some fun toys that your rabbit can play with. So you can make hanging toys where you put hay inside and then hide a little treat that your rabbit can get to. So they'll have to pull the hay out and eat the hay in order to get to that little treat that they want so bad. Using toys in that way to use hay to hide treats can be a way to get your rabbit to eat more hay. And then my last tip is to give them some hay cubes. These are treats, really, that are made up of just hay, normal hay, but they're usually a little bit more appetizing for rabbits than the normal stringy hay. So it's still very healthy for your rabbit, but they'll be more likely to eat it. <laughs> you can rub leafy greens along the edge of it to make them kind of smell more appetizing too. Usually these can come in two types, timothy hay or alfalfa hay cubes, so you do want to go for the timothy hay ones because they will be the ones that are actually healthy for your rabbit. If you want more information about rabbits and rabbit care and how to have a happy and healthy bunny in your home, then go ahead and hit that subscription button so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I do hope that I will see you next week.